Castro sets up outside. Ramirez drills this one to right center field. Long run for Buxton, and uh, he can't get there. Slams into the wall. Castro on his way to third. He's being waved around. Throw from center is not in time. Ramirez to third with an RBI triple, and the Marlins have tied things up. Really nice job by Castro, and this was drilled. 3-1 fastball into right center field. Almost, you watch this fastball up in the zone. Ramirez doesn't miss too many of these. He absolutely crushed this, and almost a great play by Buxton, the center fielder. That one is a laser, and it's a walk-off winner! Second walk off on the homestand, and it's a Marlins win. Well, I was about to call it. In my mind, I called it. I said, you know what? I think he's going to hit number seven here. Well, he was frustrated with the pitch before that he swung out a little break of ball upstairs. And he gets a fastball. He's able to match. How about that? And here come the glasses. You got to pose, though. You got to do the Anderson pose if you're going to wear the glasses. A 5-4 win for the Marlins. They waited until the second half of this season to get a walk-off win. They've had three. Harold Ramirez with two on the homestand sends the Marlins fans home with a smile. A 5-4 win to salvage the final game of this three-game series against the Twins. Well, here's the pitch. After that hanging breaking ball, he wasn't going to hit that anyway, but he hit that one. A fastball upstairs. The left fielder, Rosario. I don't know if he even took a step backwards. That was drilled. Enjoy that one. Number seven. The Marlins with a three run rally in the bottom of the ninth inning. And able to win it in the 12th. Let's check in with Kelly Sacco. Harold, your second walk off in this homestand. You come up in that situation, that big situation. Were you trying to go yard? What was your thought process up there? 